I'm Hugo Disler from Farm and Secrets. We have the pleasure of having Martin Stafford here. And we're at the Proserpina uh, Organic Sourdough Bakery. Martin, I'll let you introduce yourself and take over. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, Maarten Stapper and I did like 40 years of research you know, in wheat systems, wheat production systems. And when I came to Australia 30, 40 years ago, the nitrogen supply to wheat crops across the country was like 25 kilos per hectare, which was like one of the lowest in the world. And since then, uh, the farming system has changed. Wheat today is grown in no-till systems, so the soil is no longer tilled to get rid of weeds, but they are sprayed out to kill the weeds with the herbicide. And killing the weeds with the herbicide over so many years, you then kill the soil biology, the soil biota, and that creates a problem for the mineral content of grain. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, all the herbicide applied, and then farmers have to apply nitrogen fertilizer to get the protein up. And it's a deliberate act, a late apply application of nitrogen to get higher protein in the grain. And that's now the problem with quality, because the, the protein is not true proteins, it's fake proteins. And lots of our problems with so-called gluten intolerance, people that can't stand wheat as a bread, as a f food, uh, that's not just, it's not specifically gluten, but it can be like the fake nitrogens in the grain. And the, they can, they can upset the whole system inside people. And then the biggest issue is the herbicide use, the Roundup. And the Roundup has been in the, in the news a lot the last uh, year. And like it was, it was uh, labeled as a, a cancerous substance by the World Health Organization. Because when you use the Roundup too often, then it locks up minerals in the soil. And those minerals in the soil then don't go to the grain. So in the grain then we have less minerals and then uh, we get less quality of the food. And because the driver of the farming system, the driver of wheat production is high yields, uh, farmers use more and more fertilizers and chemicals to get the high yield, rather than the quality, the internal quality. We can improve the current system by using less fertilizers and chemicals and stimulate the soil biology that, to an active soil biology the plant gets held of more minerals and we go into the direction of like organic farming and then that organic grain is very good, healthy and de nutrient dense. Yeah, glyphosate, like it, it, it's a chelator which it attracts all the minerals, it holds the minerals back so the plant can't take it up. But also it's a, a toxin that gets into the body. And of course, the, the talk in the United States is now that 95% of the grain in Northern America is sprayed with glyphosate in, at the end of the season to kill all the plants so that the grain is dry and the grain can be harvested quicker. So the glyphosate is sprayed on the grain and that grain is then harvested, goes to the mill, is milled and the bread is baked. So then there are gly glyphosate remnants in the bread that we eat in the United States. We haven't gone that far here. But like here in Australia, the, the canola is used like that, and feed barley is used like that, and potatoes and sorghum. So there are lots of crops that are used, where glyphosate is used to kill the plant to make harvest easier. And there are no restrictions by our uh, regulators. Yeah, that's a very good question, because consumers have the power to change the whole system by asking for uh, the good bread. So asking for bread that, uh, grain that hasn't been sprayed with glyphosate, so for a year the paddock hasn't been sprayed with glyphosate, and ask for organic bread that hasn't been uh, yeah, it's, uh, completely uh, without chemicals and fertilizers. And then we can, if that demand increases, then uh, we, we will go in that direction quicker. And also, like the factory made breads, and you'll see a picture here of the sourdoughs here at the bakery, with each from good bread making, each bread has a different size because the dough is always different and the, the, the yeast, the internal yeast is different, so bread size is different. All the, the manufactured breads are all the same size and they can only get the same size by a, a, a chemical process, a manufacturing process, to get each slice of bread exactly the same and if you squeeze it, it doesn't break, it's always spongy. 
And that can only be done with lots of uh, additives to the dough to make it healthier, to make it better baking and not healthy because all those additives are not good. Well, the wheat, yeah, the wheat that we are using here, of course, it's all breeding from the same stock, from uh, uh, like the way we have for 100 years, it always is increasing. Uh, but the big issue with uh, the grain is that over the like the statistics since the last world war, since the last the world war last century, that the mineral density of our grains are 30 to 80 percent less. Like there is 70 percent less zinc in bread grain now than 60 years ago. So it's not the it's not the, it's the way of breeding. Like the way of breeding, the breeding is only for high yields. So the breeding is for high yields. And as they breed, breed for high yields, they measure the yield and they measure the nitrogen content of the grain to calculate protein, but they don't measure the zinc content, the calcium content, the iron content, etc. And in that breeding for high yield, they, get, they will have outcrowded all the other minerals, and that's why we have the low uh, minerals now in our bread. And like good, good uh, producers, like Alan Drews from the bio, biodynamic uh, bakery that, that the grain bought here, like they can use the variety from 40 years ago, which is still a stable force. And those varieties become adjusted to their local environment. So they are very good yielding and good quality grain.